hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we are going to see how we can run olama and with all other uh, llms as a chat gpt interface so olama provides a very beautiful web ui where you can import all of your llm models which are available on hugging face uh, as an open source and you can use it similar to as chat gpt interface or even like a gpt4 interface so on the screen uh, it's uh, you, you can see that uh, it's clearly able to uh, create a similar kind of ui interface as chat gpt has and you can see that it is able to add some of the models on the screen and you're able to put the details of a query in a form of image or text and then you're able to query that particular uh, answers from the models right so this is how you're gonna build it I mean this is what you want to build it in this particular video you're gonna see how you can use uh, different models and how you're gonna use Olama to create a web UI similar to like ChatGPT, and how you can use different models different open source models on your local machine so first to begin with this you need to have a uh, docker installed on your uh, on your desktop uh, so the desktop could be a Mac Linux as of now because Olama only supports uh, uh, Mac, Mac OS and uh, Linux uh, for Windows it will be available soon so uh, you have to install docker on your uh, Apple MacBook or you can also install uh, the docker on your Linux machine and once the docker is installed then you're ready to go and install the Olama and you can directly click on this download button and you can just download it and install it I have described all of these things in detail about Olama, how to set up, how to download the models in Olama, how to use Olama using CLI and lot of various things I have discussed in my previous video. So you can go and watch that video also. I will link that particular video in the description. So once you have downloaded the uh, Lama, Olama and also you have downloaded the Docker. Now the next step is to go into the terminal and just uh, do a git clone of uh, GitHub of Olama web UI so let me just do that and let me go and walk you through the git uh, github of Olama web UI so this is the github of Olama web UI so if I go back this is the this was the original Olama uh, repository and then if you go down and scroll down you're gonna see a web UI link here so if you want to click this you're gonna get into the open uh, Olama web UI a repository and here here you're gonna see a lot of uh, installation and details about uh, and the files about how you're gonna install this and you can also find uh, all of this uh, interfaces and detailed uh, information about the uh, the Olama web UI and how it can be used and also it can uh, it can be installed using docker and also it can be installed using this github repo so for this uh, we, we want to use this github repo and we're gonna uh, git clone this github repo and install the web UI dependencies and uh, from, from this github repo so for this we have just uh, git clone all of the uh, files from this github repository and now we'll go into the uh, olama web UI folder and then we want to run docker compose up d dash dash build so now what will happen is once you have done this it will start pulling all the information all the files and all the necessary information that are required to build Olama and also it will automatically install and build a web UI for your uh, for your system uh, on your local system and then you can utilize it uh, from the local host uh, API that this particular uh, command will generate so you can see how fast it was uh, it, it just downloaded all the dependencies of Olama and all the dependencies of Olama web UI and that's it okay so to access this particular uh, web UI you need to go into the uh, github repo and you can see they have specified that uh, this particular web UI will run on your local machine in the local host at port 3000 so what you can do is you can copy this and you can paste it in your web browser 
and it will lead you to the web UI. You can see it's a pretty much similar UI as ChatGPT provide today. Uh, you can find a lot of things on the left hand side and uh, you can also find an interface similar to uh, the ChatGPT. Over here you can see you can select multiple models. Uh, right now I have just downloaded Mistral model in it. So I'm just able to see the Mistral model. You can select this model and you can start doing a chat with it. So let's say uh, I, I write it how about uh, learning machine learning today. That's a generic question that I'm going to ask to Mr. AI and it will start answering uh, the answers from its, its uh, database or it's from knowledge base, right? You can see it is pretty much able to uh, serve you the answers running on your local system. So this kind of uh, interface and this kind of uh, usability is very, very unique provided, provided by the Olama because with this usage or with this UI, you are able to make your chat private and also the things are very accessible. So you, you may not need a uh, chat GPT or paid versions of chat GPT to get your answers, answers back from, uh, from all the uh, questions that you wanted to have. You can directly install these kind of dependencies on a local system and pretty much you can question it and you can get the answer from, uh, from this kind of open source models. Obviously they, they won't be that, uh, these models won't be that good enough as chat GPT, but in coming uh, years, in coming months, I think, uh, this will, this type of models will start, uh, surpassing chat GPT performance and, uh, it will be pretty much amazing to see those, those models, uh, integrate to these kind of, it, it will make very easy for us to use this kind of model for our personal use cases and that too, without, uh, sharing our data to the, uh, to the chat GPT or open AI for other, uh, privacy issues, right? Okay, so that was its advantages. Now let's also see uh, the different things that they provide similar to ChatGPT. So if you see here, you can see the settings. If you click on the settings, you're gonna see a uh, interface where you're gonna see that you can also mention uh, the system prompt. Right now I have given a system prompt, uh, let you are an expert in geopolitics. Uh, you, can, you can change the system prompt. Uh, you can say that you are expert in machine learning and uh, you are a good assistant good assistant and shouldn't provide any harmful answers so that was very quick uh, uh, prompt that i generated that i wrote just now uh, and that's that's what you can do it here with with with, uh, with this general uh, uh, content and you can set your prompt for this particular model and then also you can uh, uh, take advanced settings where you can set all of your parameters of a model. So you can set your stop sequence. You can uh, change your temperature. So I may change the temperature to 0.5 and then you can change multiple things. You can, you can change stop K, you can change stop P and uh, you can also uh, use the repeat penalty. You can also configure context length. Uh, you can, I, I can use context length like four zero, uh, four zero something. Uh, let, let me take it at, as 4000 right yeah and and then you can also choose max token and there are multiple settings that you can play with and now here in the model section you can uh, also download some models right now i have downloaded a mistral uh, model you can also mention uh, different models that are available on olama so for uh, knowing what kind of model you can download you can go into the olama website and you can click on this model section and you can uh, uh, see there are multiple list of models are available so maybe you can just download a, a simple model what we call fee uh, that is available from microsoft so let me just copy this and paste it there so what will happen is it will start downloading the fee model and uh, it will start to pull the model and then you can also delete the models you can also upload the uh, models that are available uh, in your local so let's say you have trained the model uh, and you have fine-tuned the model and you have converted that model into an GGUF format that is quantized format and then you can upload these uh, custom models here uh, and then you can download or, or you can mention it in this particular UI and this UI will internally use these kind of custom models and you can chat with those 
custom models that you have uh, that you have fine tuned or you have quantized so this way it makes it it makes it very useful to to use any kind of model that are available as a pre-trained or available as a custom fine tuned model right now the next tab is let, let it get downloaded and then we can use it so uh, so the, in the next section in the next tab we can see that we can also use open AI chat models you can also mention your open AI key and it will uh, use this open AI uh, chat GPT uh, to, to to chat with uh, this particular using in this in interface right and then you can also have some different add-on settings for for this particular uh, web ui and you can also uh, import and export the chats so let's say you have uh, you have done a lot of chats here and then now you got some significant outputs or answers from this particular model so you can import uh, you can export these chats and also you can delete the chats and you can import the chats that you have already had uh, chatted with other other kind of models and import it here so that's how you can you can do it so there are multiple things that you can do here and uh, you can see the five model is getting downloaded and uh, and, and let it get downloaded. I, I can close this and now you will be able to see that uh, there are two models available so let's say now you're going to use five model so now you can chat with this uh, how are you doing today and you can see the speed I mean uh, with this UI you are able to see some significant speed on your laptop uh, given that you're using your own uh, local hardware right so it's pretty much amazing to see such kind of integrations working very great and you can also use a uh, multi-model so let's say you wanted to use uh, GPT-4 for understanding the image and its context uh, and describe something about the image understand something about the image similarly you can do it here what you can do is you can download a model called lava and uh, let me go into the settings and let's type lava which is available in the olama so if you go into this uh, olama uh, models you can see there is a one multi model uh, available which is called lava and here you can uh, here, here you can click it and you can see uh, how you can run this lava and uh, and it, it it pretty much explains the things around here like how you can uh, import the images and the description uh, this I have explained in my previous video you can go and watch it uh, but this is what the model uh, will be helpful for uh, using image and text together and generate and query and answers for based on your text and images so that's that's what we are going to do here so right now the lava is getting installed uh, let's just wait for it and we'll see how we can use this model similar to GPT-4 and get back uh, and import the images and get back the answers from those images okay so now uh, the lava is installed so now you can use this lava model for your uh, visual question answering so what you can do is you can just click on this uh, attach item and then uh, you can go into this uh, folder where I have kept one of the sample images and you can upload this and once you upload this you can uh, question this particular image you can put your uh, questions here like describe or you can write write a good product description description of the t-shirt present in an image for e-commerce website so that's a, a, a query and that's the image that I have given to this uh, lava model and let's see what it uh, produces out out of it we have seen similar kind of uh, usage uh, in my previous video uh, by using CLI so if you haven't watched that particular video you can go and watch that particular video and understand the basics of Olama and there are many things that I have talked about Olama that will give you a very good context and it will be able to help you to get started with Olama very easily and then you can also use this web UI to integrate all of the all of these models in your own local system okay so now it has uh, started generating the answers uh, based on the query that I have posted with the image so it says this is short sleeve blue t-shirt that reads my book shelf in my heart on the front this is this shirt is made from short high quality fabric and has comfortable fit I think it is very excellent this lava model is very very excellent in understanding the visual question answerings 
and you can definitely uh, use this as a replacement of GPT-4 or any other models and this is very good open source model uh, right now it is available uh, with the usage of uh, image and text so this is how you can use a uh, multi model uh, in, in in the uh, Olama web UI and you can also see there are some uh, prompts that you can set up you can also import some uh, prompts and you can export some prompt you can discover some prompts that are uh, available in Olama hub community and there is also you can see model files which we have already talked in our previous video this is similar to what we discussed in my previous video you can create a, a customized Olama model for a specific purpose by using this uh, model file so if you click on this you can write the model file name let's say uh, I'm going to write uh, product descript a description or let's say product underscore desk and then uh, uh, write it a short description uh, this is about uh, writing product description of the products and then what you can do is you can again use the same parameters uh, as it has been described so let me just go into the olama and what i can do is i can copy the same uh, 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 prompt that they have provided which i have used in my previous uh, previous video also so this is what i'm going to do it here and instead of uh, llama 2 i'm going to write mistral because uh, i have already downloaded that particular model and it's available and I'm going to write it uh, temperature as 0.5 and then uh, I will write you are an expert in writing product description for e-commerce domain please be helpful helpful in in uh, generating the product description in detail right and then uh, this is what you can do and you can save and create uh, there are some certain categories that you need to specify before you're doing it so uh, like I can do business uh, and then you can do writing then you can do education and productivity so these have to set and then once you have done uh, you can uh, use this and then what you can do is you can go into the chat and you can just select uh, this particular model that you have just created by using this model file and you can select it and you can uh, give some description about your uh, product uh, in a form of text so let's say uh, you gave uh, uh, a t-shirt with blue blue color and cotton fabric please write a good product description right so let me just run this now it is able to run this so now we we trained a new model uh, by using the mistral and we provided some context of uh, by using, by setting the system prompt uh, uh, using the model file and then once you save that particular uh, setup uh, it will create a model and then it gonna use that particular system prompt and it will start generating the description or, or whatever the system prompt that you have set it for your custom use cases that's how uh, you will be able to create it this is all what I have talked in my previous video also you can look into that you will be able to understand all of these things very better and uh, this is how it is doing uh, you can see it is now able to create a description uh, given the context that I have given and also the the prompt that I have set it up for this particular uh, model so you can see it has already uh, created a model uh, for a description and uh, now I am using that model to generate this uh, description for my given context so this is all about this particular video I hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial if you like my uh, content do subscribe my channel thank you